We're back, guys. Good Energy reporting on tennis. Welcome to Good Energy, where we report on tennis. This is great. The North American leg of the WTA Tour is amazing. We have tennis on the West Coast, three hours behind. And then Washington, D.C., we have one of the main events tonight, Emirata Kanyu. Look, you, you just have to love it. It's 5.56 on the West Coast, 9 p.m. approaching on the East Coast, and we have Naomi Osaka in action and Emma Raducanu, the second seed. But listen, guys, Emma Raducanu, she's going to have to do something very fast here because those U.S. Open points are going to expire. Yes, she had a gift of there being no points handed out at Wimbledon. That's keeping her afloat. She's able to, you know, be the number two seed in this tournament, but... If she doesn't do something fast, we, we may never hear from her again. It's, is, it, is she going to be a one-slam wonder? But nonetheless, guys, I think Emma Raducanu has one of the best backhands on tour. I really do. But the problem is if you want to beat her, force her to beat you with her forehand. That's, that's her weakness. Her backhand is one of the strongest on tour. Her forehand is, is a little bit shaky. But nonetheless, she slams the ball down. A little aggressively here, a Jordan fist pump. She wins the fourth game. It was a little shaky, but look, Emma Raducanu has passion. Sometimes she shows it. I actually recall one time she slamming her racket down. I had a fan tell me that never happened, but I have the footage. But nonetheless, Emma Raducanu cruising here in the first set. We're going to head back to San Jose where Naomi Osaka is trying to hold serve so she can close out the first set. Emma Raducanu, the number two seed hey we're gonna see what she can do we're live in washington dc emirata kanyu <laughs> 